Alright guys, welcome back to Doom Eternal. Um, where we eternally are doomed, or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Doom Eternal on Nightmare of all things, come on. Do I get respect points? Probably not. No respect points. Okay, apparently that did not blow up on contact like I thought it would. I thought that's a, di that's a different one. Actually, it, did, it totally blew them up on contact or something. Oh shit. Oh fuck dude, he was right beside me too. They don't they don't give you any chance with, with the glory kills unfortunately. Hey, first death! And it only took a minute into the You thought this would be deathless if you were in part one, but no. Part two brings you some harsh realities of I'm casual. Oh fuck dude, I missed him. They they do not die by the way through conventional means. They're very hard to kill at least. Oh, what? Oh, no, I wanted to go on the jump pad. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, everything is pain. Fuck. It's that fucking guy, honestly. I kind of need to deal with him. I got his turret, though. He's somewhere around here. Forget about the future. To suffer is to be oh god, he went to where I was going. Low health, low ammo. And these guys spawned actually literally right beside me. All right, uh, we have one of everything, so <laughs> let's go get some ammo around here. I'm sure, I'm sure there are some other ones that were, were around here and I just didn't pick up. Yeah, I like this one. Whoop, 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 whoop. I agree with the whoop, whoop machine. Uh, uh, they have some shotgun shells here. These possessed guys, I don't really care about. Oh. Okay, there's a little bit more here and some help. This is why it really pays to actually pay attention to your surroundings. Um, uh, but you know, you're not going to see a lot of that, <laughs> a lot of this, that on this run, because um, you know me. No, I'm just kidding. I said, "God gamer, don't worry." Oh, I actually missed him. See what it wants me to do? It's like, hey, you want the chain gun immediately, right? Probably because it's like, don't be using this ammo a whole lot, but you know. I don't know. Fuck, dude. Oh. Okay, let's wait for a guy to come over here.
Oh, dude, I saw his health too, and I didn't kill actually the guy in front of me. That was my mistake. But don't worry, the game has relatively okay. Did I not get the fucking ammo that was like strung around here? No, it's still strung around here. It's okay. Now we know where it all is, so. Also, we could probably use that grenade a bit more. Quite honestly, it's because left control is usually my crouch key, so I don't think to press it, but it's also on the uh, mouse, uh, middle mouse, so. Do the Kamehameha, dude? Fuck, dude. Oh shit, fucking tentacle monster. Alright. I don't know why they thought it was necessary to add that, but you know. Oh shit. Uh no, let's not let's not do that. Okay, I want the ammo. Oh fucking Ah fuck. <laughs> Same place again. Alright, so I think I understand a bit more about what my, 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 what my problem is. Um, the motor guy was kicking my ass. Because um, he's got really good long range attacks. So, we're going to play manly mode. Um, and I'm just going to fucking kill this guy. Fucking imps, I swear to god, I'm gonna fucking love them tenderly. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Why is it telling me about something? Oh, it's a one up. Oh shit. Um What? Okay. <laughs> I, well I still have it, but what what was I supposed to do? I'm just curious Whoa, there's a thing to go across. Okay, that's why. I totally didn't notice the yellow beam. It's okay, I have fifty HP, that's like uh that's like fifty more than I need, okay, don't worry. I thought I could like uh, redirect my movement, but I guess I should have tried that without actually doing the jump. Um, but that would have been the smart thing to do, and that's not what we're about here. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. This game is trying to tell me. Can I get the page? Fuck, dude. I can't get the pagey. It's ukulele all over again. You just can't get all the pages, and you rage quit the game. You know, I, I kind of don't like how red my screen is. It's not a color for me. So it says, uh, fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points on the map. You can use it to find additional items and complete optional encounters. I guess if you decide to skip something, you can go back and do it later. Um, unlocks near the end of the mission. And I can just hit tab to basically say, hey, I want to fast travel. Oh, where do I want to go? Do I want to go to Citadel? Which is where I am, ironically. Um, I don't know. I don't care. I'm sure we'll be using that twice. Alright, here's your, here's the pagey. Um, I want some HP, though. I don't want to be hitting tab. You guys like slow motion? <laughs> now come on, you have to admit, I haven't used that one time. Well, that's actually the second time. Check, shut the fuck up. 
Um, I don't know why I'm just going around this in circles here. I guess we'll just go over here. Alright, got another pagey. The Hell Priest. Uh, there's a lot of lore for this, um, but you know. We, we gotta rip and tear, guys. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. By the way, something interesting about the lore of Doom Guy. Apparently, he's been like fighting in like all the alternate universes ever, kind of thing. That's why he just doesn't give a shit, kind of thing. And um, they basically implied that all mods are canon, including H Doom. Fuck! Why do I have to hold Enter to like my my hand is on the left side of the keyboard? I don't want to hold enter the- why, don't, why not spacebar at least? I know it's a console porty thingy bub. I do not have the means to locate the second hell priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. That's a quite a creative name for it, flame belch. By the way, this is on top of the grenades. Like, <laughs> so you can set them on fire, they'll kill armor shards, and they tell you to do it in groups, and it recharges over time. Uh, yeah, that's how that works. Obtain a Sentinel Crystal. So, here's the selection screen. Use a Sentinel Crystal to permanently increase your uh, health, armor, or ammo capacities. So now, this is a really weird mechanic, and I, I understand it, and I'll explain it to you. You can select an upgrade to increase your health, uh, arm, armor, or ammo capacity. There's four upgrades available for each category. Um... I don't know what they mean by well, yeah. So four, four, like you can have, you can upgrade um, four times, armor four times, or health four times. So it says when selecting an upgrade, this shows you're currently upgraded capacities, and it will increase that category. And then if you now, if you do two linked ones, you get a bonus upgrade. Consider the bonus upgrade when selecting your sentinel bonus upgrades. So, um, this is this is the fun part. So. I can upgrade armor, I can upgrade health. These actually just mean armor and health. I know there's that thing in the middle, ignore it for now. So if I want to upgrade ammo, I can upgrade ammo. Okay, understand? Now, if I do both of these on the side, because I have one point right now to spend, but if I decide to go, hey, I'm gonna, I want demons to drop armor at a faster rate, um, that, I, I basically have to plan it out so I get a health and an ammo upgrade, which would be kind of nice. Uh, heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire for longer. That's also not bad. Um, yeah, I already know what the blood punch is. 
I'm not a huge fan of these um, right now, <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Uh, Flame Bells takes less time to cool down. Not bad either. Uh, resource drops get pulled in from much farther away. That's probably a good idea because uh, it's not to say that I need them to be farther away from farther away. That could make the difference. Dropping armor at a faster rate, I don't know what that necessarily implies. Faster armor drops, I guess. I guess when they were on fire, they weren't dropping it too fast. So now this is when I get to decide, hey, I want some ammo. That's it. So now I can get the next one, and then that's it. And obviously, um, we're very subtle with it. The health, armor, and ammo are automatically applied, as long as any, with any bonus upgrades. Search environment, for, uh, locate more sentinel crystals. Is so now I got like 30 more ammo for it, which, like I said, I was complaining about the the health issues I was constantly having kind of a thing, so um, that, that's why it's a, actually a pretty nice upgrade to get first. So, you guys ready for Stargate SG-1? Alright guys, we gotta take gold off our planet. They use some nice, uh... Combat encounters are traditional fights of the demon that the player must complete to progress. Oh, they're tying- it actually is labeled as such. Slayer gates are special fights sealed behind locked doors. Secret encounters are time fights hidden in the mission. Boss fights are focusing on a single demon at the end of the mission. It actually just tells you. It will falter. Interrupts enemy attacks. Alright. Alright, welcome to Dark Souls. Um... Yeah. Oh shit, dude. Okay, so these aren't even mechs anymore, they're like... I don't even know. Cool place though, it's like a fucking temple. He's a very agile man. I have to say. Hello, pupper. Goodbye, pupper. I almost fucked that up actually. I wasn't sure if I'd grab onto it. It's usually pretty good about it, to be honest. Also, I didn't get this last time. Not like I care. Or do I care? I slightly care. So now we're fighting bats. I'm not gonna say the joke that I'm thinking. But if you're in with the current times, then you know you know what I'm gonna say. I mean, it's current year, come on. Oh shit. I can't do that, that's good. Alright, well there you go, we've gotten everything. Good shit. It is in an insanely good game that I have to say so far. I like it. But then again, I, I start with basically what is the equivalent of a railgun, like right away. Alright, here we have the blood punch thing. So, reading the artifacts thing before, you didn't, I didn't know what it was, but now I know what it is. Because, I, like I said, luckily I play it beforehand a little bit before I show you guys. So, it's basically melee tech, yeah, it's what it says, melee tech de deals extra damage, so when you do glory kills it fills it, and then it's like a super punch? I don't even know. You'll, you'll see, it's kind of weird, so... So it's like, yeah, do that. Then, now, I have it fall, because you can see in the bottom left there. And it just does that. And that's it. I haven't used it that much. So the idea is I could do shit like that. Um, there are so many, there's so much depth to this shit, like holy fuck. It's not that, that there's anything wrong with that, I want that fucking one up. Ah, 
How would I get up there? Just somewhere up there. So how would I get up there? If I were me, and but I'm not me, but if I was me, and I was really good at secret hunting, how would I get up there? Okay. This one up seemed pretty cash money. So this one is, do I want to punch him? Sure. Let's go punch him off. Dude, fuck you. I want to get up there. Fuck you, leather man. Yeah, and it doesn't even let me up there, so it's like, I can't even do proper fucking parkour. parkour. I'm so sad right now. By the way, that will damage you, so... Yeah, I don't think we can make it up anywhere. I'm the saddest man alive right now. I was not supposed to jump on that. I'm definitely not supposed to jump on that. I may have just figured this out. Oh well. Let's just be, let's just wallow in sadness of information I don't know. Alright, and... <laughs> and to, to make things better, there's another element to this. Like I said, it's actually it's actually not that bad, but remembering all of it can be a little bit tricky, especially managing your cooldowns and stuff. They do a pretty good job on the UI of managing this. So I'll show you manage glory kills faster. Um, not a bad idea, given how you did see me get screwed earlier on with a slow glory kill, and then they set up for me and killed me right after. Um, does give you a little bit less time to think, though, because I believe time to slow down a little bit when you're doing it. Uh, you can do it from farther away, also not bad. Gain a speed boost after performing a glory kill. Um, also not bad, to be honest. Um, increase movement while in the air. Uh, I mean, that could have come in handy probably when I did that jump into the pit. <laughs> uh, increases uh, how long enemies remain in a stagger state. Whatever. Uh, survive one death bone, briefly slowed on time, uh, recharges on death. I'm not a huge fan of that. If it didn't recharge only on death, then I wouldn't have been. Uh, I would have probably done it if it had like a minute cooldown or something. But recharge on death, come on, no. Uh, hold mouse two in midair to temporarily slow down time. Once the rune is fully drained, you'll need to wait for it to recharge. That seems kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Um, enemies killed by equipment will de decrease their recharge time. Not bad either. Uh, enemies killed by uh, blood punch, shockwave, uh, drop on death, uh, drop health. So. Uh, it's for me. It's either a choice between speed boost or I'm gonna actually do this one because this also counts for my scoping. So I don't know if I actually need it, but you know, basically I'm gonna now slow down time whenever I do that. So it's like pressing Q, you know, and then showing my weapon wheel. Who knows? Maybe I won't like it. I figure that will help with survivability, maybe. Um. Because this, this this gives you a lot of time to think and slow down time, I think, so... Because now, like, look at it. Actually, I, I don't even know where it is. Oh, here we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. I was wondering how you do it. It fucking tried to trick me, guys. A fucking tricky Bicky. I don't know what a Bicky is, but... That's what it was. Alright. Back, down we go. Am I being fucking shot at? I will kick your ass. Also, that did not seem to slow down time at all. I think I got ripped off. Yeah, dude, this is not slowing down time. Did I not equip it properly? Oh, did I do something wrong? Uh, old mouse to in midair. Oh, I mean that's still fine. Okay, I may have misread that. Um, now it's not as useful as I would have thought it would be. So let's try this out. Uh, yeah, fuck yourself. Oh, dude, that's actually fine. Oh fuck, dude, what the hell? Heavy metal's now starting, that's why. Oh, 
All right. So I guess I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Um, so this is legit where I where I left off. Um, I have absolutely no c idea what's coming up next. Um, so yeah, it's blind now. Almost at the perfect time too when I have to end. So it's literally yeah, I literally just played like the first hour of the game and that was it. So, uh, everything from now on is not familiar to me. So everything now is my own skill level, not just knowing where everything is. Oh, the f oh shit, fucking shield. <laughs> Need ammo. I like how that guy was just running in place. Uh, I can use the, the regular grenades. some more ammo here. I need to kind of run around a little bit. Oh dude, that's super useful actually. Like actually slowing down time is amazing. Where is this guy? Actually, I think I ran out of it. Yeah, it has to just recharge now. Weapon points. Complete all demonic encounters to earn weapon points. It counts the total weapon points you've earned. Each one has 10 weapon points in total. Okay, interesting. So we can spend in the arsenal tab in the dossier to upgrade it. Uh, I wonder if I, because I, I did see that tab, I didn't quite understand what it did. Yeah, I, as you can see, I didn't quite get, I didn't get all the way through the tutorial. So I can customize uh, your weapon wheel or and apply custom skins to weapons. No way. Custom skins, guys. So, uh, obviously we're going to start with this one. Oh, here we go. So, what do I have? I have six points, so... Precision bolt movement speed is increased by 15%. Reload speed is increased. Uh, headshot kill will... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever, fine. Do that, then. Uh, oh, I can't just do the other one? Oh, that sucks. Okay, where's my skins? Okay, guys, this is this is the really important part. Customize weapon wheel. I don't really care because I don't use the weapon wheel. Um, I can also unequip mod. Oh fuck, we don't have any weapon. Fuck, sorry guys, this is a casual run through. Apparently, I can have the classic shotgun though. You know, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Sorry guys, I know you're all disappointed with me. Uh, but it is what it is. I did not unlock the day one. Actually, I totally did unlock the day one, whatever the fuck it is, so. So you're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess? I don't know. I like how everything looks like a multiplayer map in this. And there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, well, we're gonna leave it off here today, guys. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, and see you later. Bye.